Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create enhanced eyes within Photoshop. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop. Then I'm going to open up the image for today's tutorial. Now I'm going to double click the background layer to make it workable and we're going to zoom in onto our subject's eye. So now that we have that done, the first step is to create a selection of the color part of the eye. So we're going to do this by grabbing the pen tool. Then we're just going to click and make some points and we're just going to drag around and um, make the curve of the eye. And we're just going to try and get just the color part. And once we have that done, we can finish off our path. And then we can take an inside of the path with the pen tool. We're going to right click and go to make selection. And that's going to bring up this box and we're going to put three in the feather radius and click OK. So that's going to feather the outside so it doesn't make such a hard selection. And once we have that done, we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Curves. We're going to adjust the overall uh, brightness of this eye and bring out some of the color. So with the RGB uh, channel selected, we're going to just bring up this line a little bit. You can see that that's already brightening up the eye a little bit. Compared to the other eye, this one is um, significantly brighter now. So the next thing we're going to do is you can see some of the green in this eye. So we're going to bring out the green channel a little bit. So just click this little pull down, go down to Green and then you can start to bring up the green in the eye. Now you don't want to go too far because you don't want it to look like the Hulk, um, but you do want to bring out the green a little bit to uh, enhance the eye and make it a little bit more vivid. So I'm just going to deselect and we can go out and see what that looks like. And it's looking pretty nice. So we can just go back in and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to enhance this pupil right here. So I'm just going to create another layer. We're going to grab the elliptical marquee tool. If it's on the rectangular, just hold down and go to elliptical marquee. And then we're just going to create um, any lips over the top of the pupil. So you can hold shift if you want it to be a perfect circle, or you can just freeform it by not holding shift. And then you can move your selection around by holding uh, the space bar. So basically what we're trying to do is just get the shape of the pupil that's currently there, and we're going to make it a solid color rather than the kind of milky color that it already is. So we're just going to go over that and then let go once you're done. Then we're going to go to Select, Modify, Feather, and we're going to feather that by 3 pixels. So that's just going to give us, again, uh, not such a hard selection. Then we're going to go to Edit, Fill, and then go down to Color. And then we're just going to select Black, which is all zeros and click OK and you can see that it's filled that right there. So now we can just label that pupil. Alright, and the next thing we're going to do is add a highlight within that pupil. So we're just going to make a new layer, go down and make sure that your foreground color is white. Then we're going to grab the brush tool and I have it set on 4 pixels and the hardness is at 100. And now we're just going to take and up in the corner we're just going to add a little dot of white. Now the bigger your pupil, the probably the bigger um, you'll need for your uh, brush diameter, but for this small pupil we just need a small brush. So um, just to feather that out a little bit, we're going to put the opacity down and uh, probably about 60, um, just so it's not obnoxiously white there, maybe a little bit more, maybe put it like 65. So now when we zoom out you can see um, what we have so far, and I can show you the before and after by going to the little history palette here. Um, this was what it was when we opened it, and you can see this is what her eye looks like now. And it's definitely a significant change. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually enhance this white part of the eye. So we're just going to take and zoom in again, and we're just going to create another layer. And what we're going to do this time is I'm going to label that highlight. All right, and then we're going to label this part uh, white. And what we're going to do is grab the pen tool, and we're just going to try and go on this white part of the eye. So we're just going to try and grab, we can fix that in a minute. So we're just going to try and make a selection there. So now I'm just going to grab the direct selection tool, and we can fix this, um, this path. All right. Alright, so now we have a pretty good uh, path of the white here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pen tool again, and then we're going to right click in the middle and go to make selection. And again, we're going to put it at 3 um, for the feathering. And then for this one, we're going to go to adjustments and then curves again. And it says that we don't have a selection because I was on uh, the white layer that we created rather than this uh, the base layer. Let's just get rid of the white layer and we'll go back to the base layer where there's actually content there and we're going to um, go to image 
and then we're going to go to adjustments and then curves. And for this one, we just want to be on the RGB and then we're just going to raise it up a little bit. We're just going to try and brighten that up a little bit. You can see that that's brightened nicely there. So we're just going to click OK. We can deselect and you can see when we zoom out that that's definitely a nice brighter part of the eye. You can see um, where it was before and then after. Before for the whole eye and then after. You can see that we have a much more vibrant eye. Now if you took a little bit more time to make some nice clean, clear uh, paths around the eye then you could get a much nicer, um, cleaner, crisper edge around those paths and it would look a little bit nicer. But um, for the basic part this is uh, definitely enhanced from where it was before. So if you zoom out you can see how she looks with one enhanced eye and then one not so enhanced eye. You can see the difference quite clearly there compared to the other eye. So this is a nice little uh, effect that you can use on your images to make the eyes a lot nicer. Um, you can see definitely the difference between this eye and this eye. So if you're looking for some way to spruce up your images, um, this might be a method that could help you. So hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.